Hello creative designer, do you know you can make creative realistic golden text effects like this in CorelDRAW without using any external effects or tool? Without any further delay, let me show you how I achieved this 3D golden effect in CorelDRAW. So I'll just create a new page. Pick your text to that part of the world golden you can use my setting any font of your choice I'm using Kambale BI okay so now this is our text in the font of our choice so the next thing I'm going to do is to give it this golden color field so on the toolbox i have my interactive field too just click and drag okay so now you can pick i have this gradient already here colors are picked out Okay, can you turn this? All right, so this is how we can go about getting this all of you you can adjust it to your taste whatever you want it to be so you can move this around to make any changes as you so desire okay pretty more brownish so i prefer using this So when you have achieved this, you can duplicate this text by uh, clicking and dragging, right click to duplicate, okay? Uh, while, while your text is selected, you can press the Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate, whichever it's easy for you. All right, so the first thing, next thing we are going to do on the effect menu, all right, I'm using CorelDRAW 2021. If you're using earlier version, you're actually going to find this effect under the bitmap menu. Okay, but in Corel, in um, 2021, we have it under effects. And note, when you are using an earlier version than uh, 2019, you would have to convert your text to bitmap, okay? before you could do apply any effect on it but in 2021 you can do so in case you are using an earlier version of CorelDRAW you don't have any challenge when you are doing that so because I'm using 2021 I can choose not to convert to bitmap but just to show you convert to bitmap okay you leave your resolution at 300 dpi your color mode to be RGB all right then you go to your effect menu you have the 3d so use this emboss here okay so you have this dial inbox dialog box you can just see that slight so you can adjust the depth you can choose to what extent you can adjust the depth to what extent you need this to be and what angle you want the direction of the 3d effect okay but in this tutorial i used 45 okay so that's why you have it behind there 
all right you can see my follow the other settings we have here the uh, emboss color is on the original okay so now you click on okay the next thing you're going to do is to apply the plastic effect on it okay the plastic effect is going to help you have that shiny look you can see how help you have that shiny look so you can adjust this okay um, I'll take this down to 100 and I can bring down my highlight okay so you can just see how let me keep this here you can adjust this to suit whatever your choice is so you can see I like using the effect the depth to be a bit lighter so I have because when it is this big you just have it all over like there's this feel it gives to the text just not so much that I like it's too much so I like using my depths to be minimal, uh, not more than 10 most of the times, or 4, okay, so depending on what you are intending to achieve. So I'll leave it at 10 and the smoothness at 100. You can ask for, turn this down, just experiment with it to see how when you're bringing down this goodness you see what is going on so i need all the sharpness that is then take note of the angle the light direction okay so you can actually adjust this by moving around to your achieve so depending on what you're doing so this my setting is 180 and i click ok so this is what I have. Now the reason I duplicated the text is on this particular one now you cannot apply any other of these um, effects, the drop shadow on it. If I apply it, that wouldn't work. That's why I duplicated this. So I need to have more depth. So I'll select this and click on this node just to align it with this. Or another thing you can do, just select this whole shift, select this, press uh, your letter T, align to the top, and C, align to the center. Okay, so now this one is above, so I can pull down, shift, page down to send it behind. Okay, but before I do that, I like to apply an outline to it, wild, uh, white outline and a shadow. Okay, uh, this up. I can my shadow fair drain can do ten. Then the outline. Press F two have to call up the outline pen. Uh, ten point is quite big. Okay, uh, let's do three or four because we're still going to send it behind so press shift page down put it behind so this is turning out very nicely i can put a back black background below it so you can just see how okay all this so this is how to achieve i don't know if you're understanding if you are confused about anything just drop it for your question in the comment section below and I will attend to it okay so this is what we have and uh, it's a fine finish and to just you can see how it has this golden plate but I wouldn't stop at that I want it to look very uh, unique to give it more depth I'll just add a bit of noise so I'll go to the effects menu uh, add noise Okay, you see you have uniform noise, you have the sparkle, you have the Gaussian blur noise. So whatever you dim feel, but for this I'm going to use the uniform noise. Uh, if you want to increase the level, okay, the level of the noise. 
the density of the noise okay you can see how whatever you choose to but i'm just going to leave it at 50 50. okay leave it at 50 50. intensity if you want it to be round down onto the single just leave it at intensity click okay so you can see how this is how i achieve this so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up share it so that others designer creative designer can benefit from this and your design is going to turn out well henceforth so this is what we call it a wrap for today see you in my next video thank you very much for watching and bye for now